Hi, welcome to Big Cat Homestead. Today I will be incubating some of my turkey's eggs. She hatched a clutch of 12. I put seven underneath her and I will be incubating the last five. If you want to watch that video, there's a link to it in the card. I will be using the Trio Cottage Incubator and it comes with the following a hydrometer, a mister for the last three days, which is the lockdown period, a candler and the charger, the incubator plug, a little scrub brush to clean the incubator, and the water bottle that will help control the humidity. The water will drain from the bottle into the incubator and help to control the humidity. There is also a spinning tray. The tray spins every few hours and you will take the spinning tray out during the lockdown period, which is the last three days. You don't want it to spin during the lockdown period because that's when the turkeys will be hatching. This little hole here is where the water comes into the reservoir and maintains the humidity. To put the incubator together, you're going to place the bottom tray, line it up with the slots. Then you will place the spinning tray. Next, you will add the lid, ensuring all sides are sealed. This will help regulate the temperature. If you do use the styrofoam cover, make sure you use the existing block for the water bottle so that it's at the same level as the incubator. The ideal temperature is 99.5 degrees and the humidity range is 35 to 55. Remember to seal all sides. And don't forget to put the hydrometer inside. Do not place the incubator in drafty areas or close to the floor. Try to find a central area in your home where the temperature is more regulated. To use the incubator, plug it up. And you can adjust the temperature by using these buttons here. One will show you the actual temperature press it again, you'll be able to adjust the temperature. And if you want to test to see if the tray is spinning, you long press the dash button and that will let you know that the tray is working properly. Here are my five eggs. Remember you want the eggs to come down to room temperature. I am going to start the incubator, let it run for a couple hours before I place the eggs in there. That way I know that the temperature is stable. It took about 15 minutes for the incubator to get up to temperature and I let it run for two hours. Now let's place the eggs in the incubator. There was no information about spacing. If you're using less than 12 eggs, this incubator can hold up to 12 eggs. So initially I thought I would put a space in between the eggs, but then I, then I thought maybe it would be better to have them closer and they would stay warmer. So that's why I changed them around. But there is no information about whether one works better than the other. This is how the tray will look when it spins and you can see that it is rotating the eggs. Let's place the lid back on, ensuring that all sides are sealed we want to make sure that temperature is regulated. If any side is up, then the temperature will not be stable. You also want to make sure you use the included styrofoam cover. This will help to regulate the temperature. Here are a few notes. Maintain the water level. The tray rotates every few hours. When you do candle, make sure you don't candle longer than eight minutes. On the last three days, Take out the rotating tray and lay the eggs on the flat mat. And lastly, during the lockdown period, you want to mist the eggs with water periodically. You're only going to do this during the lockdown period, which is the last three days. The turkeys take 28 days to hatch. Thank you for watching. Bye.